Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you guys liked the last video. Uh, I uploaded passive and active renaissance. So we're still in the comp TIA Pentis learning path. I reset it, uh, the end map live host discovery. So it's loading right now. So this one is learn how to use end map to discover live host using ARP scan, ICMP scan, and TCP slash UDP ping scan. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. As you know, guys, um, these videos, I'm going to show you how to answer questions for each task. I strongly recommend to read through each task to get a full understanding of what uh, these uh, room are about. So. All right, let's go with task one, introduction. All right, so it talks about end maps, our ARP scan, mass scans, and these levels, one through nine. So it says answer your questions below. Some of these questions will require use of static site to answer task questions while others require the use of attack box and the target VM. So now the answer needed, just correct answer. All right, my attack box loaded. You can use your own Linux machine, but I always, I like attack box, so it comes with it. All right, task two, sub networks. All right. Again, there's a click view site. So let me see if I can zoom in. All right. So as example, it talks about network and subnet nets and uh, it says answer questions below send a packet with the following. So let's Follow the steps. So computer one, computer one, our ARP requests computer six. Okay, so let's uh, ARP requests. Hmm. Okay, this should be good. All right, computer six, send packet. Okay, click again. All right. And the question is, how many devices can see the ARP requests? Hint, do not count the switch when counting the device. So as you can see, not the router, just three, right? Three computers. Or let me see, switch, okay. Or count the routers, four. All right. And the next question, did computer six receive the ARP request? Yes or no. So you click again. No, it doesn't. Computer six right here. So no. Did computer six reply? I guess, yeah. So. Because we're asking computer six using, okay, ARP requests. Oh, oops, wrong one. There you go. Oops. So this one's a different one. Sorry about that. So let's go computer four. ARP request computer six and packet. All right. How many devices can see the ARP request? Hint, do not count switch when counting device. So I think it's four again. And did computer six reply to the ARP request? Yes or no? This one, yes. Right here. Yeah. Okay, that was easy. All right. Let's go task three. Enumerating targets. So answer your questions below. What's the first IP address and map with scan you provided 10.10.12.13 slash 29 as your target hint? And it says run and map SL slash SL slash 
and 10.12.13 slash 29. So let's go to attack box. So this one's we're using MMAP techniques, right? So clipboard, paste, let's go to the terminal box. And right click, paste. There you go. And it says, what's the first IP address? And the first one is 10.10.12.8. All right. And some of the IP addresses will MMAP scan you provide the following range. 10.10.0 slash 255.101 slash 125. Hint, run map. Same thing, clipboard, paste. And the last one is MMAP done 6,400 IP address. So, all right. Again, these are different techniques to find targets. And yeah, task four, discovering live hosts. Sorry, so this one talks about TCP and UTB. So answer your questions below, send a packet, send a packet from following. So let's go back to this again. Computer one to computer three, ping requests. So, and it says, what is the type of packet that computer sent before the ping? All right. Let's see, this will be has many types. Echo, you want the same subnet should be ICMP. Let's see, although TCP and UTB are transport layers, a scanner, TCP, all right. This will be TCP request. It's ARP, sorry. Oops. Okay, so that's the first one right here. And then next question, what is the type of packet computer one received before being able to send the ping? So I believe it's ARP response. Yeah, it's the second one. And how many computers responded to the ping request? So let's do it again. Let's see. Is it one? Yes, it is. All right, let's change the send packet of the, with the following. Computer two to computer five ping requests. What is the name of the first device? That responded the first R ARP request. Okay, so we scroll down. Let's see, it's a routing. Oops. No, it's not. Let's try again. Computer, oops, might be, I believe it's computer five or two. Nope. So switch to, let's switch. Switch one router. Okay, right. 
So first device router switch to computer five. What's the name the first device respond to the second ARP? Well, it could be either switch two or computer five. Yeah. So switches doesn't count as device. Send ARP request, does it require a new ARP request? Yes or no? No. Because once you sent, it's just same thing. Yeah. All right, task five, nmap host discovery using ARP. So we're using ARP. Talks about receiving and requesting reply. All right, let's see. It says answer your questions below. We used to be using this again from, from computer one to computer one. Type ARP requests data. Try all possible eight devices in the network. All right, let's go to computer two. So I believe it's four. Nope. Let's see. Try other than. Let's see if I can. Let's try computer five. Three. So it's three computers. Yeah. All right, task six, MMAP host discovery using ICMP. So we're using ICMP. Talk about pinging. And answer your questions below. What is the option required to tell MMAP to use ICMP timestamp to discover live hopes? So what I do is, oh, type timestamp. So. As you can see, this is right here. This command slash pp timestamp. Next question: What is the option required to tell MMAP to use ICA, ICMP address mask to discover live hosts? Again, let's I'll type mask. So enable, so MMAP use mass queries. So it looks like slash PM. Yeah. And last question is what is the option required to tell MMAP to use ICMP echo to discover live hosts? So let's try. It looks like to use ICMP echo request to discover live hosts, the option dash. PE, okay. All right, cool. And let's go to task seven and map host discovery using TCP and UDP. So I always remember TCP is secure and UDP is not. So tell us about TCP sync ping. And it says, ask your questions below, which TCP ping scan does not require a privilege account? So let's type privilege. So it says privilege use TCP SYN packets. All right. See, does not requires so sin ping, right? Or is it sing? Yeah, does not. Uh, I believe it's UDP, right? UDP might be 
might be wrong. Nope. Requires privilege account. Let's see. I think it's TCP act ping. Yeah. Acknowledge. Yeah. And what option do you need to add to Nmap to run TCP sync ping scan on Telnet port? So Telnet uses port 23. So it says input in sync option to use port number, for example, slash PS21, target 21, right? So it's telling us 23, so PS, yeah. And lastly, task A using reverse DNS lookup. Just talks about another tool query. And answer your questions below, we want and about to issue reverse DNS local for all possible hosts and on subnet, hoping to get some insights from, from the names. What option should we add? And it says reverse, it's pretty obvious, is slash R. Yeah. And lastly, task nine summary just talks about ARP, ICMP, TCP, UDP, and then there's a scan type example command. And you can read through all that. And answer your questions below. Ensure you have taken note of all ML options. Explain this rule to continue. Learning about ML, please join ML basic port scans, which induce the basic types of port scans complete. And that's it, guys. Uh, you can share on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn to show you complete a room, as I already show on my LinkedIn. Um, if you like this video, guys, please give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. I'll try to pump these videos at least two or three times on a weekly basis. And let me see if I can. So we're still in the CompTIA at pen test and uh, we just did MMAP Live Host Discovery and I'm going to reset and map basic port scans for the next video. And again, just want to show you guys that I'm not I'm transitioning the IT industry. And I have current and certify on CompTIA TIA, TIA A plus, CYSA plus, Network plus, Pentest plus, Security plus, and IPT plus certification. I'm studying Cloud Central to end my year of 2023. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Till the next one.